YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today's video I wanted to focus on this Moissanite set right here and share my experience with it. I got both of them on Amazon. They are sold separately from different sellers. I have this engagement ring of sorts with a hidden halo. I'll talk about all the details and everything in a little bit. Just kind of do like a quick introduction. So I got this engagement ring here that I'm going to talk about as well as this wedding band of sorts. They are from different sellers, but I got them as a set to wear together and I've had them since I think sometime in December now, so definitely over a month. I wanted to get a feel for them before I went ahead and reviewed them, so that's what I'm going to be reviewing in today's video. So first things first, I'm going to talk about the rings themselves, kind of give you close-ups, the price, how they came, all of that, and then talk about why you might want to buy a Moissanite and the benefits, things like that, all that stuff later. So these two I got off of Amazon, like I said. This engagement ring right here is an oval cut Moissanite. And it is two carat. I got it for, it retails right now for $79.99 on Amazon. And they do have coupons here and there. Absolutely beautiful luster. My personal favorite is an elongated cushion. And then my second favorite I would say would be an oval. They don't really have elongated cushions on Amazon. So this was like the next best thing. And then one of my favorite things about it is this hidden halo right here. It has a four prong setting. And then you can see it has a hidden halo going all the way around, which I personally love. I think it's such a nice touch. And then to match, I got this band right here. I love this style here. The stones don't go all the way around. They kind of stop right here. I haven't found it to be uncomfortable or anything. Both of them I got in a size 7. Again, this one is $79.99 on Amazon and this one is $49.99. So a little bit expensive, but they are plated white gold. They're not solid gold. I mainly bought them because I wanted to see like a genuine lab created moissanite in person, see what it would look like on my finger before I went ahead and bought something with like a solid gold band. So this I would say is a pretty decent price considering the quality. I did try to remember to take it off if I was doing in like major cleaning showers, but sometimes during the dishes, during the dishes I would forget. So I did notice it would start to get like a little bit scratched up and kind of lose its luster a little bit. I don't know if you can see here on the sides. So my smart self decided to put it in a solution which is not made for jewelry cleaning at all and it completely ate away at the bottom here. I don't know if you can see. So this was a fault of my own. I put it in a solution I was not supposed to put it in thinking it would add shine to it and it completely ate away at the plating. So it's not solid gold. It does have like a very thin plating of white gold but if you take care of it and you take it off during showers cleaning anything like that and if you don't put it in solution it doesn't belong in then I feel like it will hold up well and my main concern was I wanted to make sure that none of the stones would fall out and none of the little stones fell out they're all intact very impressed with that even with this one here so far I am really impressed the only thing that was disappointing was on fault of my own is that now it's kind of like a little bit ugh on the bottom because of what I did. I did get them in a size 7 like I said and they are a little bit big. Even a few reviews would say you know they're like a little bit big than normal sizes. So I got these ring adjusters on Amazon. There are different kinds that you can find on Amazon. I bought them right away. They're not the most attractive thing to add to a ring. They're kind of like these spiral thingies that you add to the bottom of the ring and then you trim off. They come in two different sizes. I'm going to apply the smaller spirals here at the bottom and essentially what it does is it kind of makes the ring fit a lot better around your finger so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all the way around I mean obviously if you were to buy like a custom ring and spend hundreds of dollars on a ring then you want to get the correct size and all of that and you don't want to be doing this and having like this spiral thing on the bottom of your ring but because this cost me um, $79 or so then you know for me it's not that big of a deal and I feel like having this on the bottom probably would have protected it a lot better had I done this in the beginning that way it wouldn't like get scratched or anything and it just fits a lot better with this thing on. My wedding rings that I got I have an Asher cut diamond those I had resized professionally because they were a little bit too big so you know there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and trim the excess and this is kind of what it looks like and it just feels way more secure like it's not really gonna go anywhere it's not it's not as big I just wanted to mention that if you do buy these and they are a little bit too big that is an option if you don't mind I also wanted to talk about how the rings came in so the main ring with the two carat moissanite stone right here came in this emerald green box which I think is actually a very nice box nothing too fancy but it is a pretty decent box I will say 
And every time I look at this ring, I just think it is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And then the wedding band of sorts came in this blue box right here. I'm pretty sure that's how they came. I don't remember 100%, but I'm like 99% sure the wedding band came in this one and the other one and the other one. But I was talking to Sharon once again, and she told me about these boxes that have like a little light inside of them, which I really don't need because I'm not proposing to anyone, but I bought this on Amazon because I thought it was so cute. It's like this really pretty blue velvet, and I keep both of the rings in here during the nighttime. It has also has like this nice faux stone right here with a little bit of gold on it and then when you open it it has this little light that really showcases the rings so beautifully so let me plop the rings in here and show you guys what it looks like i don't know i just thought it was so cool sharon told me about it and i was like i don't know i don't need it but i wanted it so i got it just wanted to show in today's video in case anybody else might want it both of them fit side by side and it just really shows the shine so nice there's a little light right there. Just thought it was super cute. Again, I didn't need it, but I just thought it was really cute. The two carat moissanite engagement ring did come with a GRA moissanite report. The card kind of like certification that it's a moissanite because these days, you know, you don't really know. And it also came with like a little best wishes card of sorts with, you know, nothing in it. But I don't know, maybe if you wanted to give it as a gift or something. I don't know. And then Sharon also told me about a diamond tester, which I went ahead and bought as well, just because I wanted it to be completely sure. And I do believe that this diamond tester is accurate. She kind of explained to me how to use it. You put the battery in, it, com battery in, it comes with a battery, and then you turn it on and you set it to whatever the carrots is. So the stone right here is two carrots, so I'm gonna set it to setting two. Let's see here, oh, no, right there. Like two right there. And one interesting thing about diamond testers is that obviously I usually use them for diamonds, but I found this thing online that I wanted to share. I wanted to know how reliable they are, and it said that diamond testers are one of the most accurate tools to check a diamond for authenticity. However, you should know that testers that rely on thermal conductivity can mistake a moissanite for a diamond because these two stones are very similar in the way they conduct heat. So I thought that was really interesting. I wanted to share that little tidbit. Let me go ahead and test my real diamond first. So this is my actual wedding ring. I do love it. It is an Asher cut diamond right here. You go ahead and press this metal tip against the diamond and it should go all the way to the end and create a beeping sound. Oops. So let me show you guys that once again. I also have a wedding band with diamonds going all the way around right here. This is my real diamond wedding band. If you press that against there, this one has less carrots, obviously, so let me do like the bare minimum setting one or something, and then press it against one of those. Same thing. Let me show you guys again. So that's a real diamond. And I wanted to be sure, like, okay, those are real diamonds. Let me check a fake one. So I have this obviously <laughs> fake thing right here that I got. Just thought it was really cute from a shop on Instagram. And it's not beeping. It's not doing anything because it is obviously fake. You can change the settings all you want, but there's going to be no nothing to show that it is real because it is not. Let me go ahead and check a few others just to show you guys. This one's also fake. I got it from Pavoy on Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on one of these stones. Same thing. It's not beeping because it's not a real diamond or anything of the like. And now on to the moissanite. I'm gonna set it to two. It is set at two. I'm gonna go ahead and press it so that it's touching. And same thing, just like the diamond. So according to this tester, both the actual wedding band and then also the two carat moissanite should be authentic. Just wanted to show that I do believe that this seller, you know, didn't send me like a fake moissanite and is selling fake moissanites. I do believe that these are authentic, authentic lab created moissanites. So that was like a nice little test just to make sure. I went ahead and like literally tested everything. So if you wanna make sure, just buy a diamond tester on Amazon. It really was not that expensive, but I think it's good to have just to make sure because you never really know. Now on to why you might wanna buy a moissanite. So I have been 
I have known about moissanites for a few years now. I was mainly looking at morganites because I love like that pink hue, especially on a rose gold band. And then recently I got to talking to Sharon. She started the topic of moissanites and I just like went down the rabbit hole of moissanites with her. You can buy them on Amazon, AliExpress. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Etsy. I'll kind of explain a few reasons why I feel like moissanites are great. On the Mohs hardness scale, they are a 9.25. A diamond is a 10. So very close contenders there. They have a little bit of more sparkle to them than a diamond because of the way that they refract light. I think for ethical reasons a lot of people like the lab created stones, not necessarily moissanites but there are a ton of others versus diamond mining for ethical reasons and things like that. I think for decades we have been sold the marketing term that diamonds are a girl's best friend and I think that it's definitely like on everyone's mind when it comes to wedding band and engagement rings it's something that we have been sold and I think more and more people are kind of exploring other options now so had I known a lot of the information that I know now like 13 years ago when I got engaged then I probably would opt for a moissanite like not even kidding obviously I have my diamond here and I do love it but looking back I probably wouldn't even hesitate to get a moissanite I don't know what it is about the stigma of like diamonds I guess like again it probably goes back to like the marketing that we have been sold for years that diamonds are a girl's best friend I know it is so hard to kind of get away from the whole I need to have a diamond as my engagement ring like it almost just makes sense because for seems like decades that's just what people have been doing like if it's not a diamond then it's not good enough but I honestly feel like a moissanite is a very very close contender and it holds its sparkle it doesn't get cloudy like cubic zirconia it is like I said 9.25 on the most hardness scale where a diamond is a 10 absolutely sparkly gorgeous so I wanted to buy these on Amazon to see like a moissanite up close and personal again they don't make natural ones because they're very very hard to find so they are mostly all lab created and they are also way more affordable which I absolutely love who doesn't love an affordable like wedding band and I think they're absolutely beautiful like look at this you can find them in so many different shapes and you know honestly you can find anything these days when it comes to moistenite so I got this one on Amazon and I'm actually very pleased with it I mainly got it because I wanted to see like a moistenite for myself I wanted to see a sparkle see how it would sit on my finger I didn't want to go the whole solid gold route just yet although if I were to truly consider a moissanite as like a forever option then I would say you know don't get the plated option go for the solid gold option whether it's yellow gold I probably will do yellow gold I especially wouldn't do plated yellow gold because I feel like that will show a lot faster than plated white gold like if white gold kind of starts to lose some of those layers it's not as noticeable as yellow gold but I just mainly wanted to see what it would look like how it would sit on my finger do I like it the sparkle all of that and I am like very 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 pleasantly surprised so you can get this on Amazon for $79.99 they have coupons here and there I'll link both of these down below as well as the diamond tester and this really cute box but if you're willing to wait Sharon did order the same exact ring on AliExpress for like half the price I think she paid like 40 something dollars or something it does take a little bit longer so it's not prime or anything like that if you're willing to wait it's literally like the exact same ring you can actually find a lot of the rings on aliexpress you're just gonna wait a little bit longer in terms of shipping it's not too long i think it took like a few weeks for her to get it and then etsy she also sent me a lot of rings on etsy moissanite they have a ton of beautiful rings on etsy one of my favorite sellers so far on aliexpress has been i think it's cool i don't even know how to pronounce it exactly i'll leave their at aliexpress shop down below as well as the Ali aliexpress option for this but i just wanted to make this video to share my experience with these rings right here and kind of share my thoughts and opinions on a moissanite and this is a genuine lab created moissanite and i think it is absolutely gorgeous so that kind of like sums up the video here's like a final look once again i mean look at how beautiful and sparkly that is i feel like this one's holding up really well the stone itself not so much the white plating but if you do take care of it you should be fine and another reason that i completely forgot to mention is that sometimes people will buy these rings as kind of like a backup if they're traveling 
or to wear to work or something. They don't want to wear their wedding band, so they'll buy like a backup of sorts that's a lot more affordable than their really expensive wedding set if they have a diamond or something. So that's a great option as well that you can do if you want to buy these. I think it is absolutely beautiful. It's definitely something that will catch people's eyes. It is really sparkly and gorgeous. And I feel like the two carat size is like the perfect size where it doesn't look like obnoxiously large. Whereas the three carat, I was like worried that it would look almost like fake. I feel like the two carats is like the perfect size and it just looks like the perfect size on your finger. Although I am eyeing like a three carat. I feel like with an oval cut, you can kind of get away with a little bit bigger sized carrot size but yeah i'm really impressed so those are kind of like my final thoughts absolutely gorgeous love these i'll link them down below once again hope you guys enjoyed my little talk and experience with these two right here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in future videos